Good morning, juniors. So on Tuesday, you heard a little bit about our vision for you and what our hopes are for your future, and we hope they're your hopes as well. One of the newer things we're going to do this year is that you guys are going to have what we're calling student-led junior parent conferences. In November, we will be setting up appointments with your parents to come in and meet with your counselor and yourself, the student, and you guys will be leading a conversation about what some of your ideas and what your plans are, as they stand today at least, for your future. So we thought, well, it's not really fair to just say, okay, lead a conversation without giving you some guidance and some, some information to work with. So in the next couple of days here in Homeroom, you are going to be setting up uh, the, the information you need to guide that conversation with your parents in November. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what we're going to do today. Today you're going to be uh, focusing on what some of your career ideas are for the future. And we're going to hop into career cruising and do a little bit of work uh, in the matchmaker and the my skills area. You should also have received a paper copy of a graphic organizer to help you uh, keep track of the things that you're going to be working on in the next few days in homeroom. And that graphic organizer will also be used to guide your conversation with your parents. So hang on to that uh, graphic organizer. Don't lose that because that's going to be an important piece. So let's hop over to Career Cruising. I'll show you a little bit, uh, at least give you a reminder about how to access the matchmaker and the my skills area. So here we are in Career Cruising. Uh, just a reminder on how to log in. Go over to the username. Always put in SASD and then your first initial and your last name and your student ID number. I'm going to put in a demo student here. So uh, this is not how you would do it. Again, SASD dash first initial last name student ID number. And then your password is your student ID number again. Then when you hit sign in, it will take you to your portfolio. This should show your name right up here. And right under your name, you should click on My Plan. Once you click on My Plan, it will take you to the next portfolio page. And you will see here a section called My Assessments, Matchmaker, and My Skills. Go ahead and click on the button that says Career Matchmaker. Many of you, if not most of you, will have a saved matchmaker results in, in this portion of your portfolio uh, with the results listed right underneath there. If you look at your list and you're thinking, yep, that still looks accurate for me, then you do not need to do another matchmaker. If you look at the list and you're thinking, I'm not sure that that's accurate anymore, our suggestion would be to start a new matchmaker. Um, even those of you who have a matchmaker in your results already, one recommendation would be to open that matchmaker and you will see on the left side there's a box that says improve my results. Most of you have answered the first 39 questions of the matchmaker. There are 116 total questions so we would recommend that you go ahead and answer all 116 so you can answer more questions and that's going to change your matchmaker list just a little bit. Right underneath the matchmaker section for uh, where it says improve my results, you'll see a section that says my skills. If you've not completed your my skills area, you should go ahead and do the my skills as well. There are only uh, just about 40 questions in the my skills area. When both of those are done, you'll see that you will get a list, again, careers in uh, rank order of your interests based on the matchmaker. And then on the right side will be a My Skills score for that specific career. Now again, don't worry if you don't have a skills score that seems to indicate that you have all the skills for that job. Obviously, you're only a junior in high school, so there are some skills that you would still need to develop. What we would recommend you do to fill out that portion of your graphic organizer, right underneath on the left side where it says Career Choice, and then two boxes that say Skills I Already Have and Skills I Need to Develop. What you can do is click on a career of interest for you. When you click on that career, you're going to see uh, central aspects of that career and how they match to your interests, secondary aspects of that career and how they match to your interests, 
and then towards the bottom, the core skills for that job and how they respond to how you answered the My Skills section. So this area can give you that, uh, that portion of information about what it is that you need to be focusing on for the next few years in high school and then also after high school to develop the skills that you would need to be successful in that career. That's going to be plenty to do for today. So have fun, good luck, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.